the, the director and founder of Persecution Project uh, I met in Kenya, and he invited me in to Sudan. He said, hey, we, we need help in here to tell this story, and I'm taking a big plane that's going to bring a bunch of cargo and aid into Darfur. Do you want to come? But I felt this burden, and really Proverbs 31.8, to speak up for those who can't speak for themselves, for the rights of all the destitute, was laid on my heart there in Sudan. I come back to the States and I miss my connecting flight in New York. I'm sleeping on the floor of the, the airport and I'm watching our news go over and over again. And, and the news of the day then is that uh, Anna Nicole Smith had died just the evening before and Britney Spears had just shaved her head. And our main stream news sources 24 seven of telling these stories over and over and over again when, when I had just left the reality of the genocide in Sudan. And so really it was this, this is really where the, the, the ember was lit. An ember by itself will, will go out, but you keep the ember close to other embers and you have a fire. And that really was where, you know, the vision of bringing other photographers around me and other filmmakers and say, hey, we need a team to do this. I knew that I was limited in my skill set. And so how could I really find other more talented photographers and videographers around me uh, to, to create a nonprofit that now today we call Silent Images. Since then, we've been telling stories for nonprofits all around the world. We've had the privilege of producing over 500 films in 50 different countries in the last 12 years. And so we continue to do that. We continue to serve nonprofits. These are stories that just need to be told that uh, we want to use our cameras and, and highlight uh, issues that we feel like need to be highlighted.